Botanical Laboratory. Hello. We don't want any trouble. I am... I have no gun. I'm approaching you unarmed. I don't know you. <laughs> Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. You're gonna hang Move a on. shower curtain on that hat. What's your problem? Armed strangers. I'm, I'm not armed! I'm empty-handed! Some of my camp wandering out for another. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Yeah, probably. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauders got to her. Then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. It was not a joke. Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. I can wait till she's done with the bathroom. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions? She's too virtuous. I don't trust her. You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in Say no to drugs. Tea, but it's been clean. I'm straight edge, Adelaide. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. She's too smart. Only thing Reed knows how to make She's wise. Amends. It's, a, it's gonna be a battle of int versus persuasion. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Yeah, living down fine here by yourselves, but you're not paying for the power. How is it fair that people in Edgewater are working their asses off just so you can siphon the electricity for which their labor provides? He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from it. Wow! And toward our end of the What happened to civility? Think about it. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'm not looking to get mixed up in your problems. I just want to fix my ship. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. How about I take your power regulator, and then I go back to Reed, and I take his power regulator too? All right. Oh, uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, uh, Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? <laughs> great, dun, just dun, great. Dun, I'll dun, be trying dun, to running. Just like you. Do, do, Only I'm do, not so... Do, do, Wait, do, do, they didn't do, kick you out, do, did they? Do, do. Oh gosh, no, I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from Uh, look who's talking, Thomas. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. You know what? Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks for the XP, I dumbass. Set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I've been building a lot of IKEA furniture lately. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set I built a Bacant yesterday. A combination sit-stand desk. I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working. Oh, you need a step-by-step -step instructions to teach you how to make canned salmon. Copy. Should find another one back in town. I'll let you know if I find anything. It is true. I am role-playing as the serial killer you would never expect. I'm role-playing as the guy for whom everybody goes, He was so nice. He, w he was quiet. He kept to himself. We never could have expected something like this could have happened. Yeah, and he's so hot <laughs> with this ruggish... Good looks and his bachelor's degree. And his absolutely massive forehead. I'm sorry, Jeremy. It had to be done. 
If it didn't have to be done, I wouldn't have done it. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do it, he's so cute! I don't want to kill the drones! Virtual dogs? I sleep. Virtual drones? All I can picture is somebody like kicking BB-8 like a soccer ball. It makes me want to cry. Boston Dynamics? Yeah, you saw what happened. That Boston Dynamics robot got a gun. Be honest with me, chat. I know Malf's played like 10 hours of this. How close are we to catching up to him? You passed him? No. I don't believe that. That's too far. They doing like some Oh, Jeremy. Navigation systems operational. Combat systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion: All hostile auto mechanicals must be Effective in compliance with Spacer's choice policy. All Yo! We got our own HK-47. Please allow me to assist. Absolutely. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Confirmation granted. Yo! This makes up... Borrowed a copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. Where? Where is it? We got, uh, we've made up for all of our mechanicide from earlier now. You're lucky, Jeremy. I almost blasted you. Not real. You're not real. Uh, Higgins? Not real. You're not real. Sir? I, I see you. I see you. You're not real. We got the You're same hairstyle. Real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scrap. Be gone, Phantom. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the Phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Can you tell me how you got those scars? How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Two weeks? You went this crazy in two weeks? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler. It's been people on the International Space Station for like two years. Chairman of the board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. <laughs> if you worked on those mechanicals, you must know a way to stop Look, them. I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plant, Yo, it's Roko's Basilisk. With prodding irons. <laughs> Or you can help me, and I won't feed you to the sprats. Your call. Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. Good I'll man. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act. Targeting Higgins. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Sprat lover one two three four. Brat, thank you. Pop 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 pop. Let's go. Can we read it instead? No lore. I don't want the lore. I want the XP. Modify behavior. Define intruders. Define intruders as spacers' choice auto mechanicals. I will be upset if they shoot at Jeremy. I will just... Were I Jeremy, I would just choose not to be shot at. 
It's just that easy. Not Jeremy. Jeremy, blast him! You good, brother? Engineering 15. Shut off steam release valves. Why not? You think that was a joke that they put in? Shut off steam release? Ha 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 ha. I get it. It's alright. No worries. Bard will remove the bar. It's not that hard. You have an issue, Jeremy? Is Jerome short for Jeremy? And by short, I mean almost the exact same amount of letters. Everyone's, yeah, you go ahead and say Ryab. When you say Ryab, what you think that says is, I'm too smart to ask that question. What it actually says is, I don't know the answer. Is Ryan short for Brian? Shut your fucking mouth. You're okay. Don't let them harm Jeremy. Jerome is my son. That's the last of them. Once we do this, there's no going back. Okay, you know I figured. Hey, mister, do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. They don't deserve to be punished. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Spacer's Choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Cutting off their power might be the only way. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry. Fed the hungry. Sick, gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. I, I got that vibe she as well. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I see your point. I think Sorry, I'm ready to I make a decision. Like that. I, I will say, I was on the pro-worker side. Until she was like... She, she went one step too far. Instead of being like... Don't shut off our power. She was like, shut off their power. That's a little too far. Plus, I like the other dude's hat. I'm redirecting the power to Edgewater. Then I'm going to go back and kill the boss and become the boss. Got him. What do you got to say now? I think you did the rightest thing you could. I think you did the rightest thing you could. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they didn't care much for me. Perception. Thomas seemed very fond. No, I don't care... I don't play these games for romance options. Did you get the logic module? No, but I also hate uh, Ludwig. Ludwig is a racist. And I'm going to kill him with his own gun mod. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hit me with a quick save here. Somebody's in trouble. We're in, boys. Oh, she's unhappy. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Wow, she's so nice. What you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil. And my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? I don't owe you an explanation. You know what? You're right. 
The Eternal made you a loathsome reptile, and it is not in my power to change the color of your scales. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. I could also just leave. This is now your responsibility. I, I don't really, like, we have no tell Reed Thomas arrangement here. I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Why are you delegating to me? You're not my boss. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? She knows. Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? I'm looking for a chance to sow not. some chaos. Talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Oh! I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. To be honest, I'm, uh... It makes me respect her a little bit more. I don't think there's anything wrong with using human bodies for fertilizer as long as they're already dead in advance. Hey, uh, Thomas. Everybody keeps staring. Yeah, um, today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those data pads you wanted. Well, which one? It's the third one, brother. The elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? <laughs> Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all. Least that I could do, brother. By the way. Um, you won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Suit yourself, dumbass. No. Listen, if I'm gonna go back to town, I'd have to refuse working in the cannery. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my family. You've got one book on engineering. It's You're gonna open up your own firm? Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as hmm. good as dead to her. Two completely different properties of matter. I know how to use a screwdriver. Perhaps I'll become a civil engineer now. Writes one for loop? Hmm. So that's what it means to be a software engineer. Da 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 da. Got him. Once we do this, there's no going back. You cool with that? This is a fine day, friend. Adelaide's people aren't getting sick with plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment well, I try. is a good work ethic. <laughs> Have you people ever eaten an actual vegetable? This is me to other streamers at TwitchCon. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? <laughs> We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here. You got mercury poisoning, you madman. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Lie. <laughs> Look, all I know is it involves some really complicated math, and it works. If Adelaide's found got a way to feed her people and cure the plague, and she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Wow, he's so evil. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. She hates to see you go. She loves to watch you leave. You don't have to do this, you know. We did it. Now, blast him. <laughs> um, you out of your mind? You just, you just killed him. Killed who? Mr. Thompson, Reed Thompson. You know you my boss. You hit him with the big hammer. I, I need to leave. 
I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the rail unsupervised. Well, no harm, no foul. Your hat, sir? I don't care what ending the game wants me to get, you know? Whatever ending it thinks is the right ending. Nah, 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 nah. I make my own ending. This is my story. It no longer belongs to Obsidian. If they wanted to keep it their story, they shouldn't have released it. You look like the bad guy from Jumanji. Kind of feel like I look like... Like Justin Timberlake was the bad guy in a Mad Max movie. Give her some gear. She hasn't earned it, honestly. She hasn't really been a team player lately. Yeah, huh? That's on account of how I... Tell me about her. your mother. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't ask for your life story. You kind of did. Blah, blah, blah. If you ask somebody to tell you a story on an elevator ride, there's a subtext that you're asking for an elevator length story. If she starts blabbling on about, you know, stuff that doesn't matter, we're just standing there in the elevator like a bunch of weirdos. Wait until we're in the Empire State Building or something like that. Look at that. The snakes come back. There's no way to talk to your number one fan, Adelaide. You have a peculiar comfort with violence. Killing off my garden, gunning down Reed Thompson. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. And everybody's happy. To what remains of the town. Take care. Quick save. Blaster. Wow. Not even a scratch. Got her. Parvati, what are you why would you do that? You frip freaking killed Adelaide. Now we gotta cover this whole thing up. There's a bunch of deserters out there. God. Hey guys, I saved the day. I know, I'm trying to think. I am also a deserter, like you. Adelaide's okay. One of us want to go see what happened? What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? Food's bound to spoil at this rate. <laughs> anyway, um, so does that screw up our whole game? Not at all. No, but please load. Why? Did I kill your waifu? Yoink. Alright, Chad, to make amends, I'm not gonna kill Ludwig. Ludwig can still exist, okay? It's it's perfectly balanced as all things should be. Is this your ship? Oh my star ship. We're in just boys. So handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Listen to me I told you she's a blabbler. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. I can understand not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I'm not interested, Parvati. Goodbye! Dads only! Oh. 
Vacation, all I ever wanted. You think I would let a murderer onto my ship? She murdered the CEO and the interim CEO. I gotta cut ties with that psycho. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Hell yeah, brother. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. I'm just thinking of all the fun we're going to have. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Least I could do, Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Do you know how to mind your own business? I'll be back. I'll be. It's so good to see all the monsters here at the Arnold Classic. Yeah. Get to the engine room. Yeah. Wow, that was hard. I'll have you know I put together a bacant yesterday. He's done it! One planet completely saved. The yoke of corporate overlords has been torn off and no longer are you beholden to a psychopathic populist putting corpses into the food supply. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. This better be quick. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells' personality, that seems highly unlikely. Ah, there you are. How are you feeling, by the way? Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly Excuse normal me? side effect of thawing, I assure you. Ain't nothing unnatural about drippage. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, Excuse me? runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Yeah, or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. Without a skip drive? Damn it, luck, he got me. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. What about jobs and cash? I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. I call it the holographic shroud. We can't say I that word anymore. Remarkably useful to you. Almost everybody plays these games in the exact, well, one of two exact ways. One is uh, light side paragon, never do anything wrong, uh, and get the canonical ending. And those people will have already finished the game. You don't need me to show you how that game goes. The other one is full dark side, but uh, not chaotic. I side with the corporation and then leave. What other streamer would force our beloved companion to murder both her matriarchal and patriarchal mentors? And then when she asks to abscond with us, just say no. Chaotic stupid. <laughs> What's your story? I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. Hamilton? I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. That's enough for now. Good luck, Captain. I've only got ten minutes left. Yo, give me Vicar Max. We got two silver-tongued salt and pepper daddies. Wait, you don't like the expression two silver-tongued daddies? Max, how you doing? Here's the thing, brother. You can wear hibernation suit. And do I'll put this on. Yo, Max, you look so cool. No one knows you're a dad, dude. 
Everybody's gonna think you're a badass bounty hunter or something. Take this sick hammer, brother. You're you're crushing it. You're a, you're a king. We stand a legend, okay? But then also, yo, you don't need armor if you're not gonna fight. No, I, well that's a little too peaky blinders, I think. That's the ticket right there. Just checking your. Yeah, whatever. Yo, look at this guy. This is a preacher, dude. He looks like a like a goddamn supervillain. Hey, no offense, but I don't think this walking salt tuna can is gonna appreciate you interrupting. Keep talking, Millstone. Uh oh. See what happens. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. So go space yourself. Problem solved. You must really want to trust. You can't say that. Relax. Let me talk to the kid. Do what you want. I'm done here. Yeah, that's how things work. Whatever you heard, it's all true. I'd like to hear your side. What happened? Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Got any plans? Can't say as I do. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I very respectful. It's a very respectful young gentleman. You got good manners, kid. Good old groundbreaker boy. Look at him. Look sharp. See you around, See you around Felix. Boss. He called me boss. Boomers love to be called boss. Skirt. Identification, please. Present Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Uh-oh. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Any idea why my ship was Access impounded? That information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that Yeah, I wouldn't want to move into a higher you tax bracket. It? How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. Sounds like a British-Japanese noodle dish. Udom Bedford. So anyway, I started blasting. Chad, do you think I should get some glasses like this? No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. How can he see though? They're so caked with corrosion. I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. Uh, the internet? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's Dude, his gloves. The journal's presence in Emerald He's got Chill wave gloves. Colony could translate that book. It would be him. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a record of all the crew manifest for both arrivals and departures. How is it that a simple vicar happens to be such a highly skilled hacker? I'll tell you exactly how. Once you get to be in the dad squad, all of your character traits become exaggerated. Before I transfer. Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular secular skills. penitentiary flock. Sounds good. Let's go. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome, First Mate. If you play your cards right. Screwed. Yeah! yeah! Hey, no get out of here, you tin can sons of guns! Hey, you can't say that. Then I started blasting to get on their good side. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? You are from Mordhau. I'm gonna wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Give me back my ship. There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious misunderstanding. Did you hear me chuckle? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the It's experience. just that easy. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. 
I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Nope. Did you check oh, up your button around the corner? Know. The board will have my head. We're leaving. For law's sake, put that away. All right, but only for law. If it weren't for law, if you hadn't invoked the name of law, you would have been blasted. 